Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided to do a skincare routine. A few of you have been asking me what I've been using on my skin, so might as well just show you. I guess I'll show you what my skin looks like in natural lighting, but the thing about my skin that you guys should know is it's very bipolar. So I have like really good weeks and then I have really bad weeks. This is one of those bad weeks. Um, I've been breaking out a lot lately. So like you'll see I have like multiple like spots and stuff. But I promise my skin is usually more clear than this. But I don't know maybe it's just like stress or like hormones or what I've been eating. I don't really know. Or maybe it's just me and it just likes to break out for no reason. This is my right cheek. As you can see a spot right there pimple and then these are literally all scars so my skin is really really annoying you know how like when you break out and they tell you don't like touch it don't pop it or else you're gonna get a dark spot i'm like bet okay i won't touch it i won't pop it i just leave it alone i still get a dark spot so at this point i don't really know what to do whenever i break out i just get dark spots so yeah these um have cleared but there's just dark spots but luckily i have a wonderful product that helps with that this side is a little bit more tamer it's mostly just dark spots and then like i have a blemish coming in right here and then just yeah spots so i guess like the history with my skin um i didn't really start getting acne until i think like maybe middle school or something and my acne was weird because I would just get bumps. I didn't really get pimples. Just I would get like numerous bumps, but they were like everywhere. Like I get them all over my cheek. I get them all over my chin and especially on my forehead. It would just be a bunch of bumps. You can literally connect them and you make a picture. Like it was really bad. I'll insert pictures if I can find any. I, and it wasn't middle school it was high school because it was after I started wearing makeup like foundation I guess because my skin was just so used to not having anything on it and then high school came and I was finally allowed to wear makeup so I was wearing like foundation literally every single day I was taking it off but I guess like I just never let my skin breathe so that's when all the bumps came to attack and at first it didn't really bother me because it wasn't as bad like it was just like a few areas where it was bumpy but it wasn't that like big of a deal but I feel like one day it just like so many came at once and it was overwhelming because I was like oh my god I don't know what to do like my like my skincare routine wasn't that great anyways like my pro the products weren't like the greatest like it was just it was terrible finally I was like okay no I need to invest in my skincare like this is getting out of hand so I went to shoppers and literally bought $200 worth of skincare in hopes that it would fix my face so then I started using those products and it worked for like maybe a week maybe a few weeks but it only like cleared off like a few bumps but it was just it was still really bad and at that point I was like okay well if $200 worth of products isn't working like is my skin can it be saved then my mom I guess she was watching like a lot of YouTube videos and stuff and um, she watched a few girls that use some of these products and it worked for them so I was like you know what might as well try it like and it was a lot cheaper it wasn't $200 worth of stuff it was maybe like hundred maybe less than that like it was a lot more cheaper for quite a lot of stuff so I decided to try it and ever since then all my bumps were gone literally in like a month or two they were all gone and my skin was looking hydrated it was looking refreshed it was looking it was looking plump it was looking good like thank you Lord thank you Jesus and thank you to those products that I'm about to show you so that's all the background information on my skin and now let's actually get into the routine okay so we have moved to the bathroom sorry the lighting is not that great because no natural lighting comes in here so it's just gonna be the yellow stale lighting for the rest of the video i guess i'll start off by showing you guys all the products and kind of what they do so you guys get a brief overview and then i'll show you guys how i use them so the product that really 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 just Decimated those bumps. This right here, guys. This right here. It's the Mario Badescu skincare, um, the glyco glycolic foaming cleanser. 
this is it this is it the next product i use is this one you can see there is makeup all over it but it makes sense why because i use this to take off my makeup so i don't normally use like makeup wipes to take off my makeup i just wash my face with this i feel like it kind of just gets it everything off better when i use this so this is the l'oreal paris revitalift cream cleanser and it gently removes makeup and soothes skin so this is really 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 bomb taking off your makeup because you guys if you are a makeup wearer like me you really 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 have to like take your time taking off your makeup at the end of the day because if you just let it sit there breakouts 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 so make sure you're you know taking your time i don't care how tired you are okay i don't care how tired you are you need to take off your makeup so this helps with that a lot next really 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 helpful product that i use is sunscreen which is like crazy because if you're a sunscreen doubter i was one of you i was one of you i was like oh sunscreen like yeah i'd wear it if I, like, i'm going to the beach or something but it's not something that i would see myself incorporating in my skincare routine but guys sunscreen is really really important because the products i'll show you after this they um, are for dark spots so whenever you use products meant for dark spots you have to always make sure that you're using sunscreen on top of it or else it'll literally just make it a lot more worse i love this one because it doesn't leave a white cast and this one it almost feels like lotion like your face lotion it's super hydrating i think because it contains hyaluronic hold on hyaluronic it contains this <laughs> why can i ever say things like i i know how to say this word but just when i'm on camera it's like i i don't know how to read the next product that i use is this one so this is a toner it's the pixie skin treats glow tonic toner and it contains five percent glycolic acid so this toner really 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 helps out a lot with my dark spots usually they fade in like maybe like two to three weeks with this toner so that's really nice and like i don't know it just gives you a really nice like glow to your skin and that's what i love in all of my products so you can use it uh morning and night but i usually just use it at night and the sunscreen these two should be used together and last but not least this is my face cream so this is just from the body shop and it's the drops of light line and it's a brightening cream so again this also gives you a glow as well and i feel like maybe it kind of does help with dark spots but the toner is kind of the main um one for that but yeah i just apply this twice a day whenever i wash my face and i forgot to mention with this cream is it's very light but moisturizing at the same time and it doesn't like leave your skin greasy that's it for like my essential products that i use all the time I do have two more products though that I don't really use as much, like I'll use them sometime if I want to be extra, so I'll show you them. So the first one is also the, it's like the counterpart to this, um, it's the Drops of Light, but it's a brightening serum. So I use this if like my dark spots are really, really bad, like right now I have multiple, so I'm probably going to use this tonight. And sometimes I use it together with the toner and then sometimes I just use either or. And then the last product is from the Mario Badescu line. So these two go together and it's just a spray. It's just like a um, cleanse or not cleansing, like a hydrate hydrating spray. Just spray it on your face if you want like some kind of like moisture or hydration. So yeah, I don't really use it a lot, but if my skin is feeling dry or parched, just boop. And I'm good. I guess I can just like demonstrate what I do in the mornings. I'll do like a night routine as well, but this is just like um, morning. So I just use um, this cleanser and then I just go on with sunscreen and then my cream. That's literally it. Simple, straightforward, like easy peasy. Um, normally I wash my face in the shower, but I'm just gonna wash it in the sink so that I can show you guys. All right, my glasses are off, so I can't see a thing. And yeah, just get um, the warmish water and then just wet your face. You guys probably can't hear me because of the tap running, but literally just wet your face. You 
you get your cleanser, put on a decent amount, and then I usually like get it soapy first by just doing this. And then you just go in and you wash your face. This doesn't like foam up like crazy. I know some cleansers like your face is literally covered in foam, but this doesn't really do that. And then sometimes since my, uh, my skin is terrible right now, I'm just gonna let it sit for like a few seconds and then I'll wash it off. So I'll be back when I wash this off. So my face is washed off. Normally I use a paper towel to dry my face. I don't like using um, towels because I feel like that, like you really have to keep up with like washing it because then it just harbor a lot of bacteria. So I just use like paper towel because it's easy, just wipe your face, dispose of it, and it doesn't like leave residues on my face. But I'm out, so I'm just gonna let my face air dry and I'll be right back. All right, so my face is completely dry. Now, sunscreen time. So, literally just put on your sunscreen and put it all over your face. Forehead, everywhere. You see how it just literally just blends into my skin, like there's no white cast or anything. And my skin already feels super hydrated. And I haven't even put on my lotion yet. Last but not least is lotion time. So again, just grab a decent amount. I usually dot it on my face and then I just go in and blend it in. I don't know, you're supposed to bring it down your neck too. I'm really bad for that. But yeah, like they say your face is your actual face and also your neck as well. So keep that in mind, guys. All done. So that is it for my morning routine. And then later on tonight, because I'm probably going to uh, put on makeup today. I'll show you how I take all of that off and my night routine. Okay, so I am back to show you guys my night routine. So I'm just gonna show you guys basically how I take off my makeup and prep my skin for nighttime. So I'm just gonna use a wet tissue and carefully wipe off a little bit of eyeshadow I have on and also my eyebrows. Look at the difference, guys. That's crazy. Okay, so now I'm gonna wet my face and basically just <clears throat> use this cleanser to wash off my makeup. And yeah, normally I do this in the shower, but I just wanted to do it in the sink to show you guys. this one so yeah literally just do the exact same thing as I did in the morning I'm bleeding my pimple popped <laughs> okay so now I'm going in with my pixie toner and basically just gonna put it on my cheeks and I mostly put it on my cheeks just because that's where most of my dark spots are I don't really put it on like my forehead or anything so yeah pretty straightforward Pretty simple. You can tell like I'm so tired, my energy is like dead. I'm just trying to go to sleep. I'm trying to go to sleep, so but yeah, this is gonna turn into a dark spot. I already know. And since my skin is really bad, and just to show you, I'm gonna use the drops of light brightening serum. And I just basically just put it on my hand, the back of my hand, and put it all over. My skin looks so bad on camera. Yikes. And last but not least, my face lotion. I might as well just spray my face too. Might as well use everything. Oh, oops, I forgot. My lashes. I always forget. I'm so not used to having these on my eyes. Okay, and that is literally it for my night routine. I'm ready for bed. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one.